Well, I am the cook, she's the gardener. <laughs> okay, and actually we have worked with Anne-Marie okay, for now 20, 24 years. 24 years. 24. And it's been a joy to create that amazing garden. But you may not know, okay, this garden has got about 10 microclimates, 10 different gardens within the garden, within the garden. They're all inspired by travels, by by reading, by meeting some amazing people like Richard Edward, okay, from Humongous Fungus, or indeed Monsieur Monsieur Monsieur, Will, uh, Monsieur, Monsieur William Sibley, William Sibley, Monsieur William Sibley, who is the most amazing food grower in Great Britain, and those people inspire you to create these amazing microclimates. So the Manoir Garden is not just about food; it's about beauty, it's about travel, it's about displacement. It's fun. You are really in a different world. All of these herbs will be transformed into wonderful teas. And we are going soon to do, and Anne-Marie doesn't know it yet, but she's doing it now. We're going to do about <laughs> at least 20 different herbal teas, okay, from Le Manoir Cat Saison, all year round, because we're going to draw those herbs. Right. Okay, and prepare them for the winter as well. Okay, so we'll have about 20 to 25 varieties of herbal teas, and also spice tea. That's how I love it. And you may accuse me of eating babies, okay, but look at that. Look at that. Look at that salad. Mm. I smell that from here. Oh my god. As a joy of the gardener and of the cook to effectively you know to grow your food and serve it on your plate. That is that's best. Must be. Okay, and so simple. We have different um, varieties of raw beans, all being sown at the same time. Um, hopefully we'll all produce beans at the same time, then we can take them into the kitchen. Uh, nobody in the kitchen will actually know what the varieties, or what country or what nationality they are. Um, so we'll, we'll just number them and then we all taste them blind. So you, you mean you're not putting a little red and white and, 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 oh, and white no. flag, no? I mean, not that anyone would be biased, but just to make sure it's purely flavour yeah. and texture. Um, and then we sort of nominate what we feel as individuals are great flavours. Whatever we do here, when we grow a variety, before we grow it, we try it at least among 50, 70 different varieties. And then we, because we want to give you a bean experience, a carrot experience. And that's what you're going to get, just that. So, you see, there's a second seedling of carrots here, which are already grown up a bit more. Okay, and then you will have also different potatoes here. When the flower dies, those potatoes will be ready to be dug. Actually, we're going to show you some potatoes now, okay, being dug. Okay? My favorite uh, puree of potato is Estima. Uh, I love as well the binge. And I certainly love the, the Belle de Fontenay, BF15, really very special. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Look, look at that. Beautiful. Very thin skin. All the skin, see. Wow, beautiful. Fantastic. So we've got three shards here. Look at that. Beautiful shard. So you can both eat the leaves for a soup or salad. And the stalk, of course as a vegetable or mix them both okay then you have the golden beetroot they're still very young here okay, look 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 at that look how beautiful how beautiful they are amazing look the color of the rainbow amazing it's so beautiful tiny de Milon. that was introduced by my papa okay, when i came and get with it look at that perfectly shaped it's got a lovely sweet after flavor, sweet and sour. Lovely as it should be, but beautifully sweet. You can do a dessert with it if you want to, okay? But certainly fantastic soup and fantastic pot roasted as it is. But that's a navet de croissy, okay? Which for me is the best navet. Okay, and I think for all of us, we all uh, agree. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Bit of fun we're having here. Uh, no, 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 not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we are here right now in the heart of Malaysia. Okay, that was inspired by one of my travels in Monte Kinabalu in Malaysia and part of the northern part of Thailand when I saw this amazing mountain. And we, we are now working with the University of Bangkok because we have a, 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 a license to export, to import seeds with a partner. We presented it, we created a wonderful Malaysian garden for Chelsea and we won okay 
it's a silver medal, which is uh, all credit, my lovely Anne Marie. I know, but I will add that the real achievement was most people do it in two years. Raymond done it in six months. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, and she nearly died. Yes. And she nearly died. <laughs> twice, I think. <laughs> twice. Okay, but it was such a lovely achievement. Okay. And uh, that was fun as well. It was, we learned so much oh, yes. about those plants. And one of my dreams was to actually grow these plants all year round, okay, in, in, uh, in England, to try to find some, some varieties which can adapt themselves at high altitude and in you know, rainy and cold climates. I'm afraid we didn't do, we did all right. We, 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 we did. One year yes. we managed to grow lemongrass all year round. Yeah. I was jumping that high. A really so and Marie. <laughs> It was special, but it's very, very tough. Who says that you cannot grow bananas in England, okay? <laughs> Look at those little, sweet little things, little baby things. I doubt if they'll come to anything at all. But um, it's quite lovely to see that maybe with a bit more research, maybe we can find the right, that's the flower of the, of the banana tree. A very well hung tree. <laughs> So when any kitchen in the world can have produce like that, I can show you it's a happy kitchen. And that's how important Le Manoir Quatre Saison Garden is. Okay, it not only represents you know, the beauty, okay, which is a fantastic experience for the guests, but this fabulous food, okay, which is picked up in the morning, cooked in, in, in the evening or, or the very lunchtime. And that is the miracle of wonderful food.